Hello guys, and welcome to my Hardcore Iron Man RuneScape 3 quest guide for the quest Dwarf Cannon. Uh, I'll show you on the map where you start this quest. Uh, it's just here. The quickest way to get here is to either teleport to Ardoin and run north, or what I do um, is teleport to Sears Village, and then if you have 20 agility like me, you can cross the shortcut or if not, just run round. Um, in this quest guide I will be using this shortcut because I have 20 agility. If you do do not, however, as I go across here, just pause the video, follow it round, and we will end up in the same place. I just do it to uh, save time and make the video a bit shorter. So, to start this quest you talk to the captain. Oh. Uh, let's see if we can get away from that guy. I'm quite low combat still. Right, talk to the captain. He'll ask you if you want to join the Black Guard. So, requirements for this quest is none, and the rewards one quest point, 750 crafting XP, and the ability to do buy a dwarf multi cannon and smith cannonball. So, that's quite useful. Uh, accept the quest. So the first thing you have to do is fix six railings. So head out the south gate. We're going to start this side and work our way around. So what you're looking for, you're looking for wonky railings. Now I believe they'll be in the same place as mine. So like this one here. So you see how it's bent out. So you click inspect on it. It says it needs replacing. And now it's just a random plant chance you can be injured. You can get your strength level drained, um, and then you fix it. So it's just random. That's why I bought some food with me, because I am a hardcore Iron Man, so I don't want to die doing this. Now it should carry on until you fix it. There we go, so the railing is fixed. Five more to go. If, like me, you are a hardcore Iron Man, make sure you keep your health up. Because you do not want to die. So we inspect the railing. So when you get the message that your arm's getting tired, that's when you uh, temporarily lose a strength level. I believe. There we go, that railing is now fixed. That one wasn't too bad, didn't take much damage from that one. Here's another one. You can fix the railings in any order, by the way. Um, I just like to start that side and work my way round. That way I don't miss any. If you do miss any, you can always go back and have a look. You can as well fix half of them, go and bank to get more food if you need to, or if you haven't brought any with you. Food is not required, um, but this bit is all luck-based, so you might fix them all on the first time, or you might spend, you know, end up getting rid of all your health on the first one, it is just random. Okay, that one's fixed, we've got three more to do. Here we are, here's another one. That was a nice quick one for us, wasn't it? And two more. I probably missed one. I don't imagine there's two this far along. Right, there's one. No, I must have missed one, so that's fine. We can head back and do that one. And that one was fixed, so that was nice and easy as well. So we will head round, looking at the railing to see which one it is I've missed. All these trees in the way doesn't really help. Ah, here it is. It was right at the start. I've got this railing here. Oh. 
Right, once you've fixed all the railings, head back inside and talk to the captain again. He'll ask you to go and uh, find the scout who should have reported now. Leave through the south gate, head just a little bit south, you'll find some goblins. And head up this ladder here. Whoops, whoa. Bad time for some lag. Head up again. And you should see in the corner the dwarf remains. Take those. Click through the chat box. Head back down the ladder and down the second ladder. And you want to go and report what you found to the captain. So head back through the gate and talk to the captain. He'll ask you to find the goblin hideout. So we can do that. So head out the south gate again. And we're going to head round uh, south, southeast past the fishing guild. Uh, there's a little goblin hideout. But just follow where I go on the mini map on the screen. Here we are, head round past the uh, fishing guild and it's just this cave here. That's the uh, entrance to the fishing guild there for those of you who are not sure. Enter the cave and we're going to go to the northwest corner. So just keep following the tunnel northwest. If you're a lower level like me, I'm only combat level 20, um, some of the creatures in here may aggro on you, so just be careful. Okay, once you get to the most northwestern room, you're going to search this crate here. And a dwarf child will pop out. You untie him, talk to him, and he says he runs off home. Now you have to head back there as well. So, the way we came in, we're just going to head back again. This time, of course, heading southeast. Climb over the mud pile. And now we want to go back to the dwarf camp. So we're going to head back past the fishing guild. Bit of lag again, right? We're okay again. And now we're just going to head straight north until we get back. This is the way you would run as well if you didn't have 20 agility, just to let you know for starting the quest for getting here, you would run up past this way, whether regardless of which lodestone you went to. Okay, open the gate and talk to the captain. He'll ask for another favour, say, okay, I'll see what I can do. Use the toolkit on the broken cannon and click on a tool. If I can remember what tool does what. Okay, so the middle tool is this bottom bit here. The end tool, I believe, is the spring, is it? Yeah, the end tool is the spring. And then finally, this first tool is the gear, and that makes everything go. I tried to do the gear first, it turns out you have to do that one last. Okay, talk to the captain again once the cannon is working. He checks it. And now he wants some ammo for it. Say, okay then, just for you. Right now we want to teleport to Falador Lodestone.
Here we are, once at Falador Lodestone, head northeast up to the Little Dwarf encampment that's up here. There I am. And we're looking for an engineer. So head up the stairs here. And head through to the western house. Here we are, we want to talk to this guy. And you'll be given a mould and a book with some notes in. You now want to home teleport to uh, Sears Village or Ardoin, depending on what you want. If you've got 20 agility, it's much faster to go to Sears Village. If not, I believe Ardoin is faster. Okay, and then we're just going to head back to the dwarf camp. So run around the gated area until you get to the log. Uh, I don't think you can go across that, I don't think that is a bridge by the way. Okay, if you're a low level, the bats will attack you like me, but they don't seem to do too much damage, so just run past them. Okay, you want to talk to the captain again. Tell him you've spoken to the engineer. And that is quest complete for one quest point, 750 crafting XP, and permission to purchase the dwarf multi-cannon. So, I hope you enjoyed this guide, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next guide.